Did you know that Facebook currently has close to 2 billion active users? 2 billion. There's no question about it. Facebook is where people are at. And this has created an incredible marketing opportunity. It's easier than you may realize to utilize Facebook to build your own loyal following. This allows you to get in front of a targeted audience like never before. It's no surprise that people are able to make a full-time income just for marketing on Facebook. And while getting started with Facebook marketing isn't hard, you do need to know the right things to do. We'd love to share our Facebook secrets with you. To learn more, simply follow the directions on this page. Free Facebook traffic from video. People just love videos. YouTube.com is the second largest website on the planet with billions of views each month. Facebook users love videos too, and there are more than 8 billion video views each day on the platform. It is so easy to watch a video to learn something rather than read text. People are lazy, so you need to help them as much as you can consume your content. The problem with video is that it takes time and effort and money to make them. But the results that you can get make this investment very worthwhile. In this video, we will look at the best way to create video content for Facebook users. Most marketers make mistakes here, so please follow the advice below to get the most from every video that you post. Use square videos and upload natively. There is a lot of research out there that shows square type videos outperform landscape YouTube style videos for engagement, reach, and views. You need to remember that the vast majority of Facebook users will view their Facebook feed using their mobile device and square videos just look better. The bias towards mobile is so great that estimates now suggest that over 92% of Facebook users are on mobile devices. More than half the video views on Facebook happen on a mobile device and a square style video takes up almost 80% more real estate in mobile news feeds. These are statistics that you simply can't ignore. Another thing that you might want to test is the use of vertical style videos because now Facebook provides larger previews for vertical videos in mobile news feeds. Making videos that work well in Facebook is much easier now with online tools such as InVideo and Animoto available. A lot of marketers use links to YouTube videos in Facebook and only get mediocre results with these. The truth is that the interaction rate with Facebook native videos is far higher. In this instance, the term native means a video uploaded directly to Facebook. So. We recommend that you make separate videos for Facebook. You can make short videos which provide value and then you can provide a link so that the user can get more information on your website or another external site, your YouTube channel perhaps. You have three seconds to grab attention. When you upload a video to Facebook, it will autoplay to grab the attention of the user. Facebook wants their users to watch more videos. So, this means that the first few seconds of your videos have to really grab the attention of Facebook users even without the sound on. One of the best things that you can do to get attention to your videos is to add a custom thumbnail. Go and create an eye-catching thumbnail using a free graphic design program like Canva.com and then upload it during the Facebook native uploading process. Make the first few seconds of your video really count. Add captions. Just because videos now autoplay in a user's newsfeed does not mean that they will watch them with the sound turned on. It is easy for a Facebook user to disable the sound with autoplay videos and a lot do this. This is especially true with mobile devices. So you will never know if a user has watched your video with sound or not. So you need to help the user understand your video if they don't have the sound on. If you don't do this, then you will lose them very fast. The most effective way to do this is to use captions with your videos. When you natively upload your video to Facebook, you will be provided with the option to upload an SRT file, which contains your captions. You can also take advantage of the auto captioning feature, which is now working in Facebook. Alternatively, you can add captions to your videos when you create them. This is easy to do using InVideo or Animoto, for example. The advantage of using these video editing programs is that you can change font size and color to really make your captions stand out and engage your audience. Create videos with a single point. Another mistake that marketers make with Facebook videos is that they try to cram too much into them. The best videos on Facebook that get shared the most have a single point that is easy to understand. Think about it for a minute. When someone shares a video with their friends, they will normally add a sentence to explain what the video is about. If you cannot easily explain your video in a single sentence, then it is too complicated. Facebook users are rarely looking for complicated videos. They can go to YouTube for that. When you are creating your videos, think about why a user would want to share it. The main reasons why people share Facebook videos are, they want to be sociable, they want to express their feelings on a particular subject, they want to brag or show off, they want the credit for being the first to discover the video, they want to make their friends laugh. If your friends will help your audience to achieve these things, then you can expect a lot of shares. 
give your video a searchable title. Did you know that there are over 2 billion searches a day on Facebook? Well, there are. So it is a good idea that you give your video a descriptive title that is searchable. The title should contain your main keyword, and then you can add video tags, which will help people find it through search. Use good copy with your videos. When you are writing the copy for your videos, it is a good idea to briefly describe what your video is about. It's important that you provide this information so that users can determine if they want to spend the time watching your video. Facebook applauds this and goes a step further by recommending to add a key quote from the video in your copy. So, take your time when crafting your video copy. It is really important as it can literally mean the difference between a user watching your video or not watching it. Together with an attractive thumbnail, your copy will attract attention. Adding a call to action. Facebook has removed the call to action functionality from free videos, but you can still add a link in your copy. You need to add a call to action to all of your videos so that you drive up engagement and get as much free traffic to your website as you can. Here are the most popular free ways to add a call to action to your Facebook videos. In your post copy, in the video itself, at the end of the video. You can add a link to your website in your post copy. Tell the users that they can find out more on your site by clicking on the link. Also tell them that you would be delighted if they ask questions in the comment section. When you are making your video, you can add a call to action by talking about it and also in caption form. Remember that not all users will have the sound on. Do this in the middle of the video for the best results. We recommend that you have an image at the end of the video that echoes the call to action during the video and in the post copy. Let this image play out for a few seconds so that the viewer gets the message. Check the performance of your videos. It's always a good thing to use Facebook Insights to see how well or not your videos are performing. You can see important metrics here such as video views, average watch time, minutes viewed. These metrics provide an indication of the engagement levels of your videos. The average watch time is important as it will tell you when people stopped watching your video. You may find that after digging into this that a lot of users stopped watching at roughly the same time. Check out this point of the video to understand why. Look at the post engagement metrics for your videos. You can see at a glance the numbers of users reached, clicks, likes, shares, and so on. This will give you a very good insight on which videos are getting the most engagement. Facebook Live One way that you can definitely get more video views and free traffic from Facebook is by using Facebook Live. The Facebook algorithm gives priority to live videos as they are the best for engaging their users. During your Facebook Live session, Facebook records your video and when you have finished it, it is automatically posted on your Facebook page. It is not uncommon for live videos to get thousands of views very quickly, especially if they are targeted to the needs of your audience. In the next video, we will discuss the power of Facebook groups to generate free traffic. The power of Facebook groups for free traffic. If you are not using Facebook groups to generate free traffic, then you are missing out. There are usually several Facebook groups for all niches, and if you use them properly, you can generate a lot of traffic as well as grow your audience. The main reason that Facebook groups are so good for free traffic generation is because they provide you with greater visibility. Some of the groups on Facebook have thousands of members. When you become a member of these groups, you can get your message across to them. You can reply to comments left by others in the group or you can make your own posts. It is important that you know that you cannot join a group with your Facebook page. You have to use your personal Facebook profile instead. Link your Facebook page to your personal profile by listing it under your work experience section. Finding relevant groups. It is really easy to find niche related groups by using keywords in Facebook search. So if you are in the make money online niche, then just enter terms that are relevant, such as make money online, work from home, passive income, internet marketing, digital marketing, online business, online entrepreneur. If you are in a specific sub niche, you can identify the most relevant keywords and use those to search. Here are some examples video marketing, social media marketing email marketing, SEO, traffic generation, podcasting, paid advertising. Using the right keywords is important here. There are a number of ways that you can create a list of keywords relevant to your niche. Using the free Google Keyword Planner is one of the easiest ways to do this. Once you receive a list of groups, look for those that have the most activity and have a large member base. If a group is closed, and a lot of them are, then you will not be able to see this. In this case, you will need to request to join the group, and once accepted, you can then see the activity levels. Add value first. We recommend that you join around 5 to 10 related Facebook groups at a time. Not all of them are going to be winners. When you join each group, be sure to read the rules and any guidelines. 
A lot of marketers are impatient and will start making posts with links to their website straight away. You do not want to do this. It can get you banned from a group very quickly. You need to add value to the group before you start trying to drive traffic to your site. The easiest way to get started is to make a post about who you are and what you do. This is a getting to know you post, which is perfectly acceptable. A number of group members will respond to your post and welcome you to the group. You need to check the group rules to see if it is okay for you to provide links back to your website. Most groups will allow this, but a small number may not. If you can't add links back to your website, then the group is a waste of time for you. Promo days in groups. A lot of groups have promo days where you can openly promote your website products and services. If a group has promo days, then the owner will have a list of which days promotions are allowed, so you need to find this. When you are a member of several different groups, then we recommend that you create a spreadsheet of the promo days for each of these. If you are in enough groups, then you will find that you could promote your stuff several times each week. Once you have established yourself in the groups, then use the 80-20 rule for promotion and content creation. You want to organize it so that you spend 80% of your time on promoting your content and 20% of your time on new content creation. This will help you to generate the freest traffic. Content repurposing. You still need to be active on non-promo days or else you will be in danger of being kicked out as someone that only wants to use the group for promotional purposes. So what do you do? Well, you are still going to promote your content, but do it in a smart way. Content repurposing is the answer here. When you make posts in groups that add a lot of value, then your credibility as a group member will increase. Other group members will begin to see you as an authority, and this is exactly what you want. So where do you get the content to repurpose from? Well, the best place will be your website. Assuming that you are an expert in your niche, you will have posted some valuable content on your site. You can create posts in Facebook groups that summarize key strategies or outcomes of a post on your site, provide insight into the main points of a post on your site, provide new strategies and tips that are not covered in the original post. When you are doing this, you can legitimately provide a link to the original post that you are repurposing. The group owner should not have a problem with this as you are providing value to the group as a whole. So you need to start finding and joining related groups on Facebook so that you can provide value to them and enhance your status as an expert and someone of influence. Take your time over this strategy and it will work well for you. Promote when you are able and repurpose content as well. Comment on other posts and contribute as much as you can. In the next video, we will discuss why you need to create your own Facebook group to generate free traffic. Create your own Facebook group for free traffic. Creating your own Facebook group is something that you must do to generate free traffic. It will tell people that you are worth listening to and provide you with all of the influence that you need if you do it right. You are in control when you have your own Facebook group. We recommend that you create a closed Facebook group. Give your group an enticing name that will be appealing to your audience. Don't try to be too clever with your group name. You want your group to be found if someone searches, so add your main keyword in your group name. Use other keywords in the tag section for search as well. A closed group has a more exclusive feel to it rather than an open group where anyone can join. By creating a closed group, you will make your members feel protected and free to make any connections. Don't go for a secret group as these do not appear in searches and are almost impossible to find. Now you need to take steps to optimize your group to attract members. Add a compelling cover image. We recommended in an earlier video that you use a good cover photo for your Facebook page with a good slogan and the same applies here. A Facebook group is a great way to promote your brand, so use a high-quality image and slogan that lets people know why the group is worth joining. Be sure to add your group name to the image as well as your website address. Don't overhype the photo by adding images of dollars, etc. This will make it look cheap. Think carefully about what kind of image, including a photo of you, would be the most attractive. People want to know who you are, so always add your best photo. Create a compelling description. Before people apply to join groups on Facebook, they will read the description to make sure that it is worth their while. So, you need to write a compelling description that tells them that this is the group to join. Treat your description as a sales page for your group. Always add a link to your website in the group description. People will certainly click on this link to check you out, so decide what page on your site puts you in the best light. Think benefits to the members when you are writing your description. What's in it for them? If you have an email list, which of course you should have, then you could add a link to a landing page on your website in an attempt to get new subscribers. Whatever page you choose is your landing page. Leave a link back to your Facebook group and encourage the visitor to join it. Get your first members. When you first create your group, you have to add at least one member. No one will want to join a Facebook group that has only one member. So talk to some of your friends and family and ask them to join before you start to promote your group. Help them out by sending them things to post and teach them to make comments and interact. 
As you get more members joining your group, you can remove these initial members if that is what you want and they want. We recommend that you advertise your new Facebook group on your website. Tell everyone about it in your email newsletter, as well as use any of your other social profiles to get the word out about your exciting new group. Create a pinned post. You want to create a post that will be the first that new members will see when they join your group. This is easy to do with a pinned post. This is a great opportunity for you to welcome new members and add a link to your website to get more free traffic. Tell new members that they will find the latest and best information about your niche here. Creating a video to add to your pinned post will help a lot too. Add a Facebook group rules page to your website and add this link to your pinned post as well. Be sure to add any external URLs before the read more cutoff occurs in the post. You must add a call to action to your pinned post. This must be for new members to visit your website for a specific reason. You can provide an incentive for them to join your email list, for example. Other ways to get more members for your group. If you intend to run a high quality group with lots of valuable content, then it will be pretty easy for you to get new members. The first thing to do is to add your new group to the menu on your website. Many people will visit your website and never return, but they may well be interested in having your content show up in their Facebook newsfeed. Another good way to get more group members is to partner with other groups in your niche. You should have already found some other groups in your niche where you are now a member, so contact the owners to do a deal. Ask them if they will recommend that their members should join your group if you do the same for them. Not all the group owners will go for this, but some will. Try to find related groups that are of a similar size for this method to work. If you only have 10 members and you ask a group owner with thousands of members, this is unlikely to work. Use the cross-post tactic with other related groups. First, create a value-packed post in your group that a lot of your members respond positively to. Then create a new post in other groups telling them about this cross-post from your group. Some people will be curious about your group, check it out, and then become members. Content for your group. You need to post some great content in your group to drive free traffic to your website. Post all of your content under the Discussion tab, as that is where your members will expect to see it. Encourage your members to post content as well. You do not want the only content to be yours. As you build your group membership, you want to aim for the amount of posts that come from you to be fairly low, at around 10 to 20%. If members see that a lot of posts are generated by you, then they may feel that the group is all about promoting your stuff and want to leave. Your content needs to be very relevant and add value. Don't just create a post with a link in it to your website or YouTube channel, for example. Aim to start a discussion each time that you post by adding personal messages in your description. You can be a lot more personal with your group posts than you can with those on your Facebook page. Answer questions that your members will have in your posts. This will help to encourage discussion in the group and further questions from members. It is a great way to conduct research for future posts that you can create. By answering specific questions, you will establish yourself as an expert and someone with influence in your niche. You can provide brief answers to questions in your group posts and answer them in full on your website by way of a link in the post. Here's a good example of a question. Ask your members what they are struggling with right now. This is bound to raise a few responses which you can build upon. Find out what the most common trends are in your niche and create posts on your website about these as well. Then, share these posts in your Facebook group. In the last video, we will take a look at the best practices that you need to follow to get the maximum free traffic from Facebook. Best Practices for Free Facebook Traffic Here are the eight best practices that we strongly recommend that you follow to generate the maximum amount of free traffic from Facebook. It is still possible to drive a lot of free traffic from Facebook and we believe that if you follow these best practices, you will have the maximum chance of success. 1. Understand the reality of free Facebook traffic. Facebook wants you to spend money on advertising, and they have made it more difficult to drive free traffic from the social platform. While it is still possible to generate a good amount of free Facebook traffic, you need to use the right methods. You need to eliminate any negative beliefs that you may have about Facebook and develop a growth mindset. 2. Optimize your Facebook page. You need to make your Facebook page as appealing as possible. This starts with a great cover photo that clearly communicates your message and benefits to your audience. Create a compelling intro with a good call to action. Complete the About section and the others and add links to your website in each of them. 3. Create a great backstory. The more that you can connect with your audience, the more likely you are to drive free traffic from Facebook. You need a good backstory that tells your audience how you went from zero to hero. Your story needs to inspire them to believe that they can be successful as well with your help, of course. 4. Give your audience what they want. By giving your audience what they want, you will maximize your chances of driving free Facebook traffic. Do everything you can to find out what your audience wants. What problems do they have that you can help them with? Join relevant groups to find out what kind of content is the most popular and use Facebook Insights to check your own posts. 
Five, post the right content for Facebook traffic. You want your posts to receive a lot of engagement, likes, comments, and shares. Getting your posts shared is great as it will help to grow your audience and extend your reach. Use tactics to increase the shareworthiness of your posts. Create posts that include contributions from well-respected people in your niche. 6. Facebook Native Video There are billions of video views on Facebook each day. Instead of adding videos to YouTube and then linking to these, upload videos to the Facebook platform, Native. Facebook gives much higher priority to native videos. People like live videos, so use Facebook Live to drive more traffic. 7. Relevant Facebook Groups You can drive free traffic by joining relevant Facebook groups and making a valuable contribution. Never spam a Facebook group with your links. Always add value in your posts and comments. Find the most active groups and contribute on a regular basis. Take advantage of any promo days that they offer. 8. Create your own Facebook group. When you have your own Facebook group, you can almost guarantee a lot of free traffic if you do things right. Make sure that you set up your group correctly. Go for a closed group and add an enticing, benefit-laden cover photo and description. Create a valuable pinned post welcoming members. Encourage members to make their own posts in the group. If you have taken this training from start to finish, you will have a good understanding of how you can use Facebook to generate free traffic for your business. It is important that you do not just jump onto the platform without knowing what you are doing. Facebook users are looking for informative and entertaining content. Brands and organizations that have used the platform successfully for marketing know this and have posted the right content to get the users involved in their business. If you want free traffic from Facebook, you must do the same. Now, it is over to you. While taking this training will make you a bit smarter only by taking action, will you be able to leverage the Facebook platform to generate the free traffic that you want? We hope that you found this training to be informative and useful. Get started today with your Facebook marketing. We wish you every success promoting your business on the world's largest social platform. Thanks for watching and if you like this video then please subscribe and hit the bell of notification so you will get notification as soon as I upload a new video. I wish you a best luck for all your future projects. See you later next time.